Of course, the big issue in Alberta politics this week is the escalating trade war with British Columbia. Yesterday, Premier Notley said that she was ordering the province's liquor commission to stop importing BC wines into Alberta. Well, today, BC Premier John Horgan had a news conference to say that he was not going to escalate this trade war. He was hoping that cooler heads would prevail in Alberta. But it's a bit of an act, you got to think. He's playing the part of the innocent party and painting Notley as the aggressor when in fact it was last week the BC government announcing or threatening to try and regulate the amount of bitumen that Alberta could transport to the West Coast for shipment overseas. Now, that was seen as a threat to the Kinder Morgan pipeline expansion that would ship more of Alberta's bitumen to the West Coast for shipment to Asia. Well, Horgan should have seen that as a threat. He should have known that Notley would react because this pipeline is basically the one way Notley has of surviving the next provincial election in a year. But Horgan is acting as if Notley is being unreasonable. So Notley is talking about escalating this even further, not giving us details, but really the target she's aiming at isn't BC. It's not the people of British Columbia, certainly. It's the federal government. And Notley is saying very bluntly today that she will have to escalate this if necessary to get Ottawa to step up to have Ottawa tell Horgan that only Ottawa has a jurisdiction to impose any sort of conditions on pipelines. That's a constitutional authority given to the federal government, not to provinces. So Notley is hoping that Trudeau will step up because he is the only person, the only politician in the country with the power right now to end this trade war. I'm Graham Thompson with the Edmonton Journal.